very, very good question. I have been quite critical publicly on my blog and in my books recently, in my speaking and writing, that brands and companies should not, should not invest in their apps. They should not be making smartphone apps the primary part of their strategy. Now my story is changing, and here in New Zealand is one of the markets where the change is most observed. So what you've been reading from Tommy Ahonen's writing will no longer be true in about two or three years, and I've been starting to alter my story as it now uh, becomes relevant. So the reason for this is obviously it's Martin Wilson's theory of the I syndrome. The I syndrome is the mistaken understanding that if you create an iPhone app, you have a mobile strategy. Today, any country, the majority of consumers do not have iPhones. In fact, most countries, the majority of consumers do, do not even have smartphones. So the right strategies like Coca-Cola, who say they have a 70-20-10 rule. 7-0, 70% of their total budget goes to messaging, SMS and MMS. 20% of their total uh, mobile budget goes to the mobile web, and only 10% of their mobile budget, Coca-Cola, their mobile budget, goes to all apps, which includes iPhone and Android and, and Symbian and, and Blackberry and all the other platforms on, on smartphones. So that puts it roughly into the right context for today. However, the population of smartphones keeps increasing. This quarter now, quarter one of 2012, I expect we will reach roughly one-third of all new phones sold on the planet will be smartphones. Here in New Zealand, more than half of all phones in use are already smartphones. So here, for the first time, together with Australia and Singapore, Netherlands, a couple of other countries, there are so many smartphones, it does make sense to look at uh, smartphone apps. Then comes the question, what should be the new priority? If you're an advertising brand, if you are a marketer, you should still prioritize every pocket first. Make sure that you reach every consumer first. So you have a messaging strategy and you have a mobile web strategy. But now is the right time to look at your home market and see what is the installed base of smartphones. I think the iPhone is a very valid platform today here in New Zealand. Is, what is the role of Android? It will probably be the second platform and soon become the first. And then is the issue of do we still bother with Symbian? The other platforms are so small that we might not prioritize them, not for consumer uh, oriented uh, marketing propositions. If you are a business, uh, uh, business to business kind of use, then obviously the BlackBerry platform itself, uh, Windows Mobile, uh, Symbian E-Series, Nokia would also be relevant.